Hi guys, in this video uh, we'll discuss all the concept of TSD. So as prerequisite only you know even if you don't know but still I will recommend you to go through a normal textbook and at least read about the basic concepts. And if you cannot do that that's fine because I am trying to cover everything. Mostly I will be dealing with concepts. So question by question we will you know encounter all these concepts and uh, make lucidly clear for you these TSD topics and obviously cut down the time whatever you are using with you know uh, faster method approaches and whatever so um, let's begin see in this entire TSD you know that speed equals to distance upon time or whatever you can call um, that's what like D equals to S into T that's what we have memorized you know always and we have solved questions in our you know basic you know basic uh, class and schools whatever so this is um, the concept that's all is there in TSD but obviously in competitive examination they won't you know provide you with D and S and you know hide T and that's not happening but obviously in a very story way format that's happening everywhere so we will grasp the important concept there and we'll discuss so usually in questions there are two scenarios you know what are these two scenarios and one among these th three variables s d and t is concept uh, constant so any one of these one either this or this will be constant and certain question will be placed to you so if one of these variable is a constant we can use proportionality relation among the other two to solve the question orally that's very funny because obviously most of the question in my entire quant section I've you know solved you know using ratio and proportion and something like that so this is whatever uh, I have discussed in ratios also but still now we are dealing entirely with TSD we will discuss the concepts so as I have told you there are two concepts hidden so when you know a consider and speed is constant when this is constant so what happens when speed is constant d becomes directly proportional to t right that's you can see it from here and when you know d is concept constant right so what happened s becomes inversely proportional to t now the entire uh, challenge is when we say these uh, you know two scenarios it requires certain efforts on your part of identifying these two scenarios you know the entire games gets over when you identify yes s is constant you know or d is constant then we will you know um, say d is inversely proportional uh, sorry d is directly proportional to t or s is inversely proportional to 1 by d right so the entire game is about identifying what is constant what is happening so if you can you know fine tune your brain like that you know then exactly the entire um, solving of TSD becomes orally you know then you will be always be able to save a lot of time so here we will discuss one by one all the concepts and then from the questions as I have told you we will I have discussed using post and videos so if you have, you won't be having any doubt then most probably I'll try to fix everything in TSD